Hello, Pastor David here with a Friday devotional for May 13th. Our memory verse for this week, we'll start with that. Jesus said, Happy rather are those who hear God's word and put it into practice. Luke 11, 28. We are here at my house or the parsonage, and you see me here in amid a big packing mess. You see, I was supposed to have my hernia surgery yesterday on Thursday, and in planning for that, I was tested for COVID and found that I was positive. I don't feel very poorly. I feel pretty well, actually, just like a maybe a slight cold. But that, of course, makes me have to postpone my surgery. And I can't go into the church office. I have to isolate. So I've been home now for a couple days. You see me here in my grubbies rather than um, at church. What am I going to do during this time? I'm going to start to get a, uh, some packing done so we can get ready for the summer's move. Yes, that's my big thing right now. I'm trying to think through and process but that I am being sent to Rochester as the pastor of Evangel United Methodist Church there. I've been really wrestling with that because I love it here in Forest Lake and I love Forest Hills Church. I could stay here until I retire. But that's not God's plan. That's not how things are going to go. We are scheduled to move. And I believe God's hand has said, David, you're going to Rochester. So as I've been packing up here, getting boxes ready, got some things in here, here things I've got done here. Only they came across to pack, put in the box, is my grandfather's Bible. And it's helpful at times of transition and change to go back to the grounding of God's word, of God's assurance, and of the legacy that your family has anchored you in, in trusting God. So that's what I'm doing. Before I pack up, I'm going to pause and read this. And I've been thinking about the story of Abraham, where God told Abraham, I want you to move. I'm going to take you from where you are now in Ur, in Babylon area, southeast Babylon, over to the Levant, over to Israel, what we know of today's Israel. And then there was the land of Canaan. And Abraham got the word. And I've been thinking about that. So I'm going to read for you from chapter 12, Genesis 12, in the King James Version. So you'll have to bear with me because that's my grandfather's Bible. Verses 1 and then um, 4. Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto the land I will shew thee. So Abraham departed, as the Lord had spoken him, and Lot went with him. And Abram was seventy and five years old when he departed out of Haran. And Abram took, his, took Sarai, his wife, and Lot, his brother's son, and all their substance that they had gathered, and the, and the souls that they had gotten at Haran. And they went forth into the land of Canaan, in the land of Canaan they came. I've been thinking about that. The Lord simply said to Abram one day, I'm, I'm going to get thee out of thy country. That's kind of what I feel like here. Get, get out of Forest Lake where, you're, where you've been for 13 years, where your family has been or, um, 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 grounded, where you've raised your family. And, and um, from thy kindred, this to me is my church family. I, of course, love Forest Hills. It's my church family. And I had to leave that. And that's heartbreaking for me because I, I love this church and I love this people so much. And from your father's house, from the parsonage, I'm having to move away from all of this unto a land that I will show you. Rochester, for me, is that land right now. I don't know much about Rochester. I've only been there a couple of times to go to the clinic. Um, but that's going to be my new home. And the Lord said, I have a plan for you. And so Abram trusted God when he couldn't see where he was going didn't know what was going on trusted and obeyed and went verse 4 so Abraham departed and the, he didn't go alone his family with him I could take my family my wife and my kids will transfer well part-time my kids will move to, to Rochester but I also have family and friends who will continue to watch over me and care for me and all that we've gathered We've got a lot of stuff. We're going to try to reduce and 
move the move the, the rest. We're going to the land that God has showed us. So God, we believe, I believe God is his hand is in this. I have to trust and I have to go with confidence and boldness, knowing that God has a good plan. He'll take care of Forest Hills, He'll take care of my um uh, my church here that I love so well. He'll take care of me and my family. He'll take care of the church I'm going to. For he's a plan and purpose for me there. So I want you to think about this. Two things. One is that God will take care of Forest Hills. You need to know God's watching over this church. And it will be fine. God will provide. And it will be a good ministry going forward. Forest Hills is a good church. A strong church. Keep going, church. But also think about your own life. How God is calling you. Perhaps to changes. Think of the, think of the changes God, that God has brought you through. Hasn't God been faithful? Hasn't it always worked out? God knows what's best. And when we obey and are faithful and hang in there and just go for it, it is good. I look back in my life, how God brought me to this wonderful church. What a blessing that has been for me and my family. And I think God is going to take me again and take me to another place. Where God, God can use me and I can be, be useful. And God can do that with you too. Whatever changes you are facing, whatever moves may be in your horizon, go with God. Be trust. Be willing to obey. And see God's hand at work. Pray with me. Heavenly Father, you sent Abram away from his home so long ago. And because of that, you started the whole the whole gift of salvation for your for your world. And Lord, I, I know that Abraham trusted in you. And as I hear now your voice to move and go to a new place, I trust again. I believe your hands at work. I know you'll provide for this church. I pray your Holy Spirit to bless this church going forward, provide for pastoral leadership, provide for continued ministry in this church. I pray for me and my family as we are moving. And Lord, provide for us. Help us to trust in you and to, to be the people of God that you want us to be. And use us, Lord, whatever you have planned for us. I pray for Rochester, my Canaan, where I am going to. And may your Holy Spirit be already there preparing for us to come. And Lord, whatever changes be in all of our lives, we trust in you. We know your hand is at work. And we believe you have a plan that is best. That gives us confidence today, Lord. And joy and hope facing our futures. For we go not alone. You lead us. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. So church, be strong. Be positive. Know that God is leading us. And it will be good what God has planned ahead. Until next time. Keep calm and carry God.